Happy Tuesday, it's Shannon Wilkie, education advocate and the owner of the Shine Advocacy Group. Today we are gonna finish our series on the common disabilities that we work with and today we're gonna talk about anxiety. Anxiety is a medical diagnosis that can greatly affect students at school. Um, in my opinion, it even can become school-based anxiety based on undiagnosed or um, learning disabilities or ADHD that aren't being properly accommodated or worked with the student at school. So while there's a large gamut of how anxiety can affect students, we do see it coexisting commonly with other disabilities. And it's very common for us to work with schools to set up accommodations and services and teach students um, skills to work with their anxiety. So when I think about anxiety, I think about a recent interview that I did um, with the author Summer Bat. So this book is her book that she wrote, Name and Tame Your Anxiety. I'm gonna put the link below because I am asked often, daily, um, what books I would recommend. Because as parents with kids with higher needs, you have bookshelves, like the ones behind me, of books that maybe you'll have time to read when they graduate, once we get them there, but to read 10 books on ADHD, 10 books on anxiety, 10 books on executive function, no, that's not going to happen. So um, I like to read the books and then try to kind of find one or two in each area. And this is the only one that I really am recommending right now for anxiety because I love that it can be written, I'm sorry, read um, as a child who's maybe, I would say seven to 14, even teens, or the parent can read it with the child. So anxiety based on all the research and summer is an editor at Stanford Press, so she definitely knows what she's doing as far as writing. Um, what is anxiety? It's your body's natural response to stress. So to delve into it a little bit, she talks about what anxiety is, and then she talks about how it feels and some symptoms. So I'm gonna go over the symptoms um, based on her book and her research because this is something that you may see and not know that your child is struggling with. So upset stomachs, headaches, so those are called somatization. Um, if you feel the anxiety, you can get physical symptoms of it. Uh, trouble sleeping, biting nails, trouble focusing or paying attention, um, not wanting to go to school, school avoidance, crying more than usual, getting angry at people who care about you because you're feeling so anxious, you're in fight or flight, having sweaty hands, a racing heart, fear of leaving parents um, more than usual at different developmental stages, fast breathing or feeling like you can't get enough air, um, trouble sitting still and keep thinking about bad things that could happen, kind of perseverating on those thoughts, going over and over them, checking things over and over to make sure that they're right um, and that they're in order so you can kind of control your environment. Trouble speaking when the teacher calls on you and you just don't feel right. And then Summer goes on to talk about how this can be helped when it starts to get in the way, when it um, you know starts to become a problem, how the family can work with the student, the child. So again, the book is called Name and Tame Your Anxiety, A Child's Guide. It's available on Free Spirit Publishing. It's also on Amazon. That's where um, the copy came from. So, you know, please check that book out. It is a great, great book and resource for anyone who has the diagnos diagnosis of anxiety or struggling with school-based anxiety. Um, and so some things that can be done at school are teaching the student how to kind of work, like Summer says, name and tame their anxiety, how to work with the anxiety. Um, they can be done in accommodations and you can even have an IEP for anxiety. It can be things um, such as you know, double checking work, meeting with a trusted adult to learn how to kind of manage through an anxiety episode or attack, where to go, you know, get extra drinks of water, where to walk, when to leave without academic penalties. So these are all things that can be addressed at school and we can certainly work with you for accommodations and even IEP services. And a lot of times we find for our clients that if the their services at school are sufficient their anxiety goes down because they feel heard recognized they have a plan and sometimes that's all that's needed all right thank you and take care